ശേഷമുള്ള ചോദ്യോത്തരവേള ഉടൻ തന്നെ ആരംഭിക്കുകയാണ് ചിത്രത്തിന്റെ സംവിധായകൻ ശ്രീ പ്രസന്ന വിതാരങ്കെ വേദിയിലേക്ക് history uh, is a dialogue between past and present the people use it for different reasons for ideological power or that you know that uh hi sir uh so what is your inspiration behind making this film and what uh, what is the thing that you want to uh, convey through your film two things outer and inner outer sri lanka country polarized on ethnic and religious lines and class lines and you know in the sense uh, being a filmmaker it gives you a chance i think you are you are also going to be a filmmaker correct yes it don't worry it will give you a chance to look into yourself as a man how we treat women so why uh, so the question is why I cast Roshan. Yeah, I have seen Roshan's film before and uh, uh, many times, uh, and uh, I thought that he he is the physically he is the right person who could portray a person who has been I mean been a Malayali who has gone to uh, uh, Mumbai and struggling for la. few years yes i mean the character he has struggled and he suffered mumbai and he see uh, I, i mean to survive that he has to be materially success uh, so that's the inner thing then i uh, after uh, re- after completing the script i sent it to roshan and i never thought he would be he would agree to do the film for with the sri lankan filmmaker then uh, he agreed and uh, i came to kochi uh, and we spent some time there and so he had observation about the character the graph he came with a notebook i came with a notebook and it was compatible <laughs> so uh, i just i just great pleasure to work uh, it was a pleasure to work with roshan i tell you why i mean i'm a man when it's come to uh, directing uh, males and females there's a difference mostly females are more sincere than men and when it comes to actors actresses are more sincere about their feelings than they will be open but men would like not to i mean open themselves why we have to protect the macho image of being a man and being the stars so uh, roshan was ready to the travel that extra mile and bring the inner self of this character it is not roshan but he was ready 
to uh, do that. So, uh, I mean, I felt it. And more than I felt, I think when I, I, was, I, was, I was standing and watching the film, I was thinking to leave, but I was watching. And uh, Roshan today actually, he saw the film for the first time. And I, I was, all the muscle movement, uh, the, his face, we could see what's happening inside him. So uh, that's the, I mean, uh, great, uh, I say, uh, Lakshan, or the uh, actor, all the rest. I mean, uh, Roshan, when you, when you, you feel it's, uh, you can read everything what's happening inside. They are like, you know, all good actors, there's a saying, we are like, uh, uh, kind of a clear ponds, you can see <laughs> beyond the water. And he's continuously doing it. Oh, I see. He's continuously doing it, yeah. All the rest. <laughs> oh, hi, sir. My question is uh, similar to the question. So, like, what was the reason for picking a Malayali couple? Because it could have been like any outsider, right? And also, like, were some of the parts like shot in Kerala? Because the landscape was like really similar to Kerala. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I mean, Sri Lanka and uh, Kerala. Uh, geographically similar and uh, cinematographer Rajiv, Rajiv loves Sri Lanka and he has made it more like in Kerala <laughs> and he, uh, no other than uh, any other camera he has brought the beauty of Sri Lanka so no scenes were shot in uh, Kerala 100% uh, it was shot in Sri Lanka and uh, the reason uh, Malayan because I could relate uh, if it's Malayal, because I I have friends here, and I have read Malayal literature, and uh, and it's the connection, this uh, coming from a uh, state in southern India, and settled in a cosmopolitan city, the financial hub of Mumbai, all this that you know I have few friends who are in the film industry who has done it. So I could associate with them, and it was an easy kind of a bridge for me to understand characters. Uh, hi, sir. Sir, here, here, to your left. Oh. Uh, sir, this is regarding cinematography of the film. So you or Raji Ravi, sir, might take it. Uh, so I wanted to ask, what was your vision uh, about um, uh, the treatment of this film in terms of uh, visuals and cinematography and uh, and why it has been shot the way it has been shot, like extreme close and things like that. So you already you have understood, because uh, part of your question, it, you have the answer. Uh, because it's uh, what I think Rajiv sh uh, should answer the question. Rajiv? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, we are Rajiv. Right? Uh, I'll say it's purely storytelling. Just follow the director, his vision, try and understand him, try and understand what he's trying to say. That's the treatment. It's not anything else. And uh, Sri Lanka is much, much more beautiful than Kerala. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should go there and see it. It's, it's so beautiful, please. You. And uh, I'm, I'm really thankful for Sir to uh, for giving me this opportunity to shoot this film. Thank you. It's actually at moments you wanted to see more, but it is very, you know, very. Yeah, the decision to show a little is also a decision, right? Yes. The it's like, yeah. show it's very like clumsy. You almost feel uncomfortable. You want to see the landscape of Sri Lanka, but you are never able to see. Yeah, why? Because they are unable to see. Yes, yes. If a person is engrossed in his phone, what could he see? We all of us, I mean, are saying, no? I know that the Chinese uh, tourists who come to Sri Lanka, they will uh, take a photograph from the, I mean, the bus, but they will not go down because everybody is busy with their life. So, to, what a director's vision should not, I mean, decide on external factors. It should decide on the characters. What is their world? So, these, I mean, uh, the two of them in the beginning, uh, I mean, they are like, it, 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 
creates a claustrophobic feeling. They're stuck in the van, and one person is looking beyond the uh, glasses of the vehicle. But the other person is engrossed. So you have to bring that out, not the other way. And then there's a beauty in certain moments which she experienced. So bring that out. You have to bring that out. Then there are, there are moments which say that he, without being it's closely shot, and clo not only with that, with the wide angle lenses, you will not bring the drama. Because the, in the, there are so many moments in the film uh, between the, the two characters, the lead characters, in the, I mean, the dining room. And it, with the way we treated uh, the police station is different. So again, it's uh, what you are, you are, as Rajiv said, you are following a character and you have to get, then you have to use all the means, lenses, composition, everything, to bring out the emotions of the character. Rather than them talking about the characters, that is the cinema, I believe, to make you feel. So if you were uncomfortable, if you were felt unsettled, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. First of all, uh, Prasanna and all the crew and the actors, I would really like you know, to have a round of applause for all of you because you have been wonderful. And uh, I have to say, every time I watch one of your films, like you, uh, it strikes me two, two things first, then I get thinking, uh, I see all the layers. Uh, first of all, the colors, the way you use the colors, the tones of blues and greens are like something like stunning. Every time, like aesthetically, it's uh, extremely beautiful, but as a woman, also strikes me the way that you you didn't remake the Ramayana, you made the Sitayana, and it's like really interesting how you acquire the female gaze, or you try to watch uh, the story from the female eyes. What you were saying about a film being really intersectional, looking at caste, looking at ethnicity, etc. So I wanted to ask also the actors and you, because the actress is not here, how difficult is that? Because it's difficult to enter, as you said, in the gaze of the woman, but you very much convey the story through her eyes, and then you create this dialogic narrative through Mr. Andrew and the sergeant. All of you were absolutely fantastic. So I wanted to know why you always put the woman at the center of your story. Uh, I will give a very short answer and let all the other actors answer from their point of view. Uh, again, as a filmmaker, I think you have many lives. In real life, in real life, you may not understand the women you love, but when you are making a film, you try to understand them. I think there was a certain effort that went in from all of our sides to understand fully the characters that we were playing, which was the only way to get through this story. Uh, like what you said uh, about the cinematography also interestingly struck me along the same lines that it, so much of the story happens inside these people rather than the place that they visited it. It just ends up becoming the context or the location where these events unfold. No? So for all of us I think it was about going so like as far within as you can to a point where maybe like even you know everything stops mattering. You're, your gender, the language that you're speaking, as you, we've used like four languages in this film. Like the, the more, uh, I guess the situations, uh, the tougher they get, or the more uh, questioning that you face from the situations around you, the deeper you go, and then all of these things, all of these layers slowly start falling off, you know, your upbringing, what you've read, what you've imbibed, who's told you what, your gender, uh, your politics, it, it really brings you down to, you know, deep in there, are you a coward or do you have enough empathy to be brave or, you know, are you selfish or do you see the other people around you, who do you operate for, what do you operate by, I think that's what we were all in a way trying to do, I think, I don't even know if this answers your question, but the mic was pointed at me. Sergeant. Oh, this is really exciting. <laughs>
Thank you, thank you so much. I, I, I'm really nervous, you know. This is the first time I'm experiencing this kind of excitement in my life, in my career, 45 years. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, no, I, I think I, I'm a bit lucky because uh, last evening, uh, legendary actor Nana Pateka, he, he, he told that uh, from Malayalam cinema he didn't get any offer. <laughs> but I got one. <laughs> so that's got more than enough for me, you know. This kind of exposure, I'm thanking my, my long-time friend, my senior friend, my director, Prasam Vitanagi, for selecting me for this character. And uh, she was guiding me. Improvisation, when it comes to improvisation in acting, is a master. So, <laughs> So I mean, we improvised it most of the time, trying to get what he wants. So we tried our best to do and obey him. <laughs> uh, so that's why, anyway, thank you so much for watching the movie and appreciating it. Uh, all the best. Good luck. Thank you. You may have uh, seen uh, Shyam, uh, my previous film, With You Without You, which was screened here, and Pony and Selen also. So I'm very thankful uh, for Shyam uh, for accepting this role. And uh, Shyam, please say for uh, First of all, I would like to see you that uh, how I was uh, selected for this movie. Uh, I heard the news that uh, Prasanna says is going to do a movie an Indian movie. So I uh, called Daminda Madhavala, the assistant director, and uh, I told him, Daminda Prasanna uh, is going to do a film. Just uh, can you give me any sort of a, uh, I mean, uh, something to do with the movie? I said, I have a driving license. So can I <laughs> work in the, I mean, uh, as a crew driver or some, some kind of a job in the movie? So uh, a few days uh, after that, Prasanna Vitanagi, Prasanna said to me, uh, called me and said, uh, Sham, you have the driving license, uh, so uh, can you be in the movie uh, for the whole schedule? I said, yes sir, I can. So, uh, okay, I will give you a chance uh, to be with uh, the movie with the driving job for the whole schedule. So that's how the, my character was uh, given and introduced to me. So what I did was uh, try to save uh, uh, Roshan and Darshana without any accidents. <laughs> that's what I did. And uh, actually, I'm a big fan of Roshan and Darshana. So I'm so happy and I'm so lucky to uh, work with them. And, uh, especially with uh, Prasanna sir. Um, Andrew, how uh, Mr. Prasanna with uh, described that character very briefly was, uh, and Mr. Andrew is something just washed away. He is there, but he's not there. So that's how I try to understand. And uh, as uh, uh, you asked that how, uh, Sometimes how uh, women or how men looks at uh, women in Mr. Andrew's point of view, I think uh, uh, Amrita was the, the person who uh, uh, intensely and uh, see how the Sri Lankan life goes on and how the Sri Lankan people uh, feels. So. Uh, that is where Andrew can find sort of um, a connection uh, with the couple, not with Keshav. And whenever Keshav uh, comes to the action, uh, Andrew just have to uh, be washed away. He's there, but he's not there. He was there with uh, Amrita, but he's not there with Keshav. That's how I saw uh, Mr. Andrew, thank you. Thank you, Sean. I think time is over, huh? Yeah. So thank you all and thank you for staying.
and always as is, it's a pleasure to be with you all in uh, IFFK. Thank you again. Enjoy this all the screenings. Thank you, sir. Thank you.